What's it like at a German Christmas market and how much will it cost you? That's what I want to find out today. The Christmas season is in full swing. And here in Germany, Christmas markets are some of the best places to get into the festive spirit. I'm in Bremen at one of Germany's biggest and most beautiful Christmas markets. I've set myself a budget of 50 euros today, so let's see how far I can get with that. I definitely want to try some Glühwein. Tastes like Christmas. Eat some sweets, check out some rides. Oh no! Shop for gifts and try a strange looking Bremen specialty. And I will also give you a special tip. Wow, that's cool. I'm hungry, so I want to try something that I've seen at a lot of Christmas markets but never tried before. And I see it right over there. Kartoffelpuffer mit Apfelmus. A Kartoffelpuffer is basically a fried potato pancake. And here it costs 5 euros. It's crispy on the outside and soft on the inside and comes served with applesauce. So. <laughs> Apparently, I'm supposed to put sugar on this as well. That's kind of weird to put sugar on potatoes, but let's try. Sweet and savory. I like it. Or with salt. Okay. I think I actually prefer it with the salt. The Christmas market season typically starts around the end of November and goes on until Christmas. The Hanseatic city of Bremen in northern Germany has its main market at the historic Marktplatz. The town hall and the statue of Roland, also known as Bremen's Statue of Liberty, are UNESCO World Heritage Sites. And you might have heard of these guys. These are the Bremen town musicians from the famous Brothers Grimm fairy tale. Legend says you can make a wish if you grab the donkey by the legs. In the story, four animals run away to become musicians in Bremen. Be sure to grab both of the donkey's legs and make a wish. I wish everything fits into my budget today. It's probably Bremen's most famous landmark. Now it's time for some Glühwein, which for me personally is the star of the Christmas season. Many people come to Christmas markets just for the Glühwein, or mulled wine. Red wine, typically spiced with cinnamon, star anise, cloves, sugar, and oranges. I paid 7 euros for this one. So 7 euros for a glue vine sounds like a lot, but that includes a 3 euro deposit for the mug. So when I return the mug, I'll get 3 euros back. Mm. Tastes like Christmas. I can see why these are popular at Christmas markets, because it really warms up your hands and warms you up on the inside. The price of Glühwein has increased over the last several years. Got my money back. <laughs> but luckily, not at every market. Now it's time for a sweet treat. I'm getting a German Christmas classic called Lebkuchen, similar to gingerbread. Hi, Hi. Um, could I get the three original Elisen, please? And could you explain to me what's special about these Lebkuchen? This, um, this is handmade here in Bremen and here is um, no flour inside, only hazelnut, walnut and almonds and other spices with marzipan and honey. And how does that change the texture of the, when it's without flour? Fluffy, softer because um, it's not so dry. It's like a very rich cookie full of those Christmas spices and it has a nutty texture and flavor and it's just perfect to get you in the Christmas mood. I've eaten a few things now. Next, I want to get a little Christmas present. But what else can I do here? Let's ask for some advice. Eat. <laughs> and to eat something. Mushrooms. Yes, yes. It's very neat. Something to drink. Blue wine. Made. Sausage. Uh, fish, but also these Schmalzkuchen, this, this uh, fried things. This is my favorite thing. I have it every year. It's, uh, I just think it's really interesting how they cook the meat. 
Yeah. It's very tasty. Uh, you have to to get uh, some some bowl for the Christmas tree. Oh, okay, like a Christmas bowl with, with glitter and snow. I was thinking maybe uh, one of the candles. Uh, they're white and they're looking like a dome. And you put the candle inside, and you can see with the lights the drawing. A good curry was also a good idea. <laughs> Some great tips. I'm curious about those Schmalzkuchen, but first let's find a present. You'll find many beautiful handmade toys and ornaments here. These are the ones she's talking about, but 12 euros is a little high, so I think I'm gonna get one of these smaller ones here for 450. Thank you, Shin. Thank you. Christmas present for my mom. Oh my god, is that Santa Claus? <laughs> The Weihnachtsmann is in town. Maybe he has some tips. <laughs> so I have a question for you. Yeah. What kind of um, typical German present should I buy for my parents here? Go for a, a nice hot egg, egg liquor. Oh. I think, uh, well, I'm, I'm a little bit older. I'm about 500, but <laughs> still I like this stuff. So maybe they might enjoy it. Okay, yeah, well, not a bad idea. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks for the tip, Santa. Let's see if I find some later. For now, I'm paying four euros to ride the Christmas market's Ferris wheel. All right. The ride felt a little shaky. <laughs> it's going a little faster than I expected. Then it slowed down again. Oh, I'm actually cold now from sitting for so long. <laughs> so the solution is to get some warm Schmalzkuchen. <laughs> to be honest, I wasn't so convinced by the rides here. It was cool to see the market from a different perspective for a bit, but after a while it was just going round and round in circles a little bit too fast. So I could have probably saved my four euros. <laughs> but anyway, it's time for Schmalzkuchen. Freshly made dough, deep fried in oil. Basically, little pillow-shaped donuts covered in powdered sugar. A medium-sized order costs €3.50, Euro which I find very affordable. It's good. It's snowing on my scarf. <laughs> I also happened to find what Santa Claus suggested. Eierlikör is similar to eggnog. Still within my budget, I splurged on a small bottle for 10 euros. I should have enough money left to try a strange looking local delicacy, but I'm going somewhere else for that. What I'm showing you next is something really special for Bremen. Let's take a closer look by the Weser River. Not far from the main Christmas market is another one called Schlachtet Zauber. <laughs> Wow, this place is really buzzing with people. It has a medieval section full of pirates and themed gifts. A totally unique atmosphere. Here, the mead is plentiful. Every year, there are about 3.4 million visits to both markets. And I managed to find something I've been wanting to try. I get a to-go box at this stand for 7 euros. So I found it. This is a northern German specialty called Grünkohl, which is um, kale cooked with various meats. And it looks really unappetizing actually, but I want to try it. Of course, it's normally served on a plate, but this is the street food style. So how does it taste? Definitely tastes better than it looks. I have just enough money left for one more drink. I ask the pirates for some honey mead, which costs seven euros. But I will get three euros back when I return the cup. Oh, that smells really good. It smells like honey. And it's really hot, but that's just what I wanted. Delicious. So I had Kartoffelpuffer, Glühwein, Lebkuchen, bought some gifts, rode the Ferris wheel, ate Schmalzkuchen, Grünkohl, and drank some mead. Not too bad. It was much cheaper than I expected. I was just 50 cents over budget, so I'd say that was a success. And I was able to do plenty to get into the festive mood. The Christmas market season in Bremen is really something special.
What do you think about German Christmas markets? Would you like to visit? Let us know in the comments.